now that you got your riff or baseline in the bag, how much do you repeat it before you vary it? And then, how do you vary it? The answer's coming up. But first, do. Our Revolution Harmony. I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony, and welcome to the Hack Music Theory Show. Where you are empowered with notation free theory for making great music. Alright, here we go. So we are in E Aeolian, and this is the riff we've been working on in the last couple of videos. Be sure to check them out if you want to know how we got to where we're at right now. So, the first thing you want to do is copy and paste your riff. Then have a listen through and hit that space bar at the exact moment where you feel the slightest bit of disappointment. Boom, right there, right over there. So put your marker exactly where you got disappointed um, and highlight the culprit. So it was absolutely <laughs> this note here um, in our riff. That was a disappointment. There's no need to have a disappointing note in, or section in your riff. So that is where you need the variation. Now, if you manage to get through two full riffs, and you didn't feel disappointed at all, that's great. Loop it up for three times, four times even. At some point, your riff is going to disappoint you, and that <laughs> is where you need your variation. Now that you've located where you need your variation, one of the easiest and most effective ways to create that variation is to change the direction of your melodic contour. In other words, if your listeners were expecting your riff to go down, then take them up instead. Yeah, and that's exactly what we decided to do here. So instead of going down to that G again, we're gonna go up to a D instead. And that one small change will totally surprise your listeners and yourself. And at the very moment where you were about to lose their attention, you hook them in by thrilling them with something they were not expecting. So that is a melodic variation, but you could also do a rhythmic variation where you don't change the note, you just change the rhythm. Or even better, you could do both, which is what we did here. So we cut that note um, into uh, 1 16th and then the remainder of the note, which equals three sixteenths, and we took the first sixteenth down to B. So we're copying that rhythmic motif we have over here, and that gives us this really powerful ascending line over here, which is gonna climax into the final part of our variation over here. So we might as well delete those and make space for it. Yep, lastly, we're gonna inject some energy into the ending to turbocharge it back around to the beginning. Yeah, and we're gonna start by hitting that D again, except we're doing it straight on the beat there because you'll notice the first time there was a rest there. So that's another way to totally thrill your listeners. They're expecting a rest and then boom, they get a note. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna go up F sharp. Gonna throw in a couple 30 seconds here. No, wait 30 seconds and then Come down to the root, and then we'll go down to flat seven again, and up to two, and we're done. Just a quick note before the final playthrough. You can learn how to use hack music theory in three levels. Level one, read our free book and watch our YouTube videos. Level two, read our part one book and our songwriting and producing PDF. Level three, do our cutting edge online apprenticeship course where you'll learn how to write great songs from start to finish. So if you want to take your music making to the highest level, get involved now at revolutionharmony.com. week you'll hear the final version of this riff because we'll be revealing the whole song with a full MIDI playthrough, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications.